All right, welcome to the Nick and Matt Show channel. This is something like we've never done before. We've done a CTP deal, me and Nick. It was a fun game. Go back and check that out. That was actually really fun. This is not going to be as high tech. We're actually going very low budget here, but I've got intern Ben. He's going to put something together. He's going to edit it. Yep. Let him know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed yet, do it because we're planning to do a little bit more of this. But today, what you're going to get to check out is Lone Star Disc. They sent us a little care package to the Nick and Matt show. Thanks for that. I have zero idea what these discs do. I didn't, I mean, I barely knew the name because I'm in the disc golf world. Like I knew Lone Star barely. I don't know the names of the discs. I don't know their plastics. I don't know how they fly. Ben has a small advantage. He got these last week before yeah, I went on vacation. Played a little bit with them. A little bit. We want to be clear to say this. We are not being paid. We're not being compensated. There's no sponsorship here with Lone Star, meaning you're going to get our accurate reactions fully. No influence here. Um, we'll see how it goes. And is there a different disc in here too? We said Lone Star. Hooligan Disc also sent us some Yeats, which is made by Lone what Star. What a great name, Yeats. Yeats. So I'm excited to try this out. I might get destroyed today. Uh, what's, I know you don't like to tie out ratings, but what's your rating right now? 850. 850, <laughs> and mine's like 920 or 30, so I should beat him by like three or four on the front if we're doing only nine holes. See what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. The Nick and Matt Show. All right, this is pretty crazy, hole number one. I'm gonna go ahead and filter through. I have no idea what I'm working with. This is actually my first time with my hands on the disc. Uh, feels, I don't wanna compare it to others, but it's kind of like a star, but it's pretty flexible plastic here. I literally have no idea, so we're going with the first one here in my hand. It says Mad Cat on it, PDGA approved. This hole is 364 feet, playing the white layout as we've said. Here we go. Is this going to flip right in the pond, Ben? <laughs> uh, you should be good. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. It's, it's definitely more overstable than I thought. Should be able to get the three out of it. Okay, I've had like two weeks experience with these discs. Matt knows nothing. All right, pick out the one that's going to work best. Ace it. Here we go. Going with the Warbird. All right, go ahead, man. I hope you ace it. I don't even see it. <laughs> that was a little far. Okay, right. I see it. You're just about really circle's edge. Yeah, circle's edge. Here we go. I am about 80 feet away with no clear putt, but I'm going to go to a putter anyway. It's first time with my hands on them. These, these discs feel very, I don't want to use the word flexible, but in that mindset, like for sure, like extreme grip. Different feels though. This is like a, a rubbery style grip. It's yep. more in that soft, like, plat this is, more of a star, but still super flexible. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, penny so putter. Can all say in God we trust on them? Yeah. Okay. It's a penny putter. Oh, penny putter. There we go. Penny putter. Here we go. All right. Drop in three. I'm going with the penny putter as well and Bravo plastic. So this is more premium. Oh, listen to you. You know the plastic types. All right, yeah, go so put it in. There you go. Okay, good. That's going to be a drop in. <laughs> yeah, we both hard hole number one. Next to one. Like this on hole two, you can see it out there probably. It's just like a gap. It's not a big deal, but if you don't know the discs at all, you're like, what am I picking up? Is it super flippy Roadrunner or is it like a stiletto, right? Like, I don't know. So part of me wants to just try to go big hyzer, but that's no fun. So pulling out a flat mid range called the Harpoon. Again, if you're into this like super... I don't know, I'm thinking Gateway had like super stupid soft kind of deals. Yeah. It's not quite that, but it's in that. Ballpark. And all those float, that type of plastic. Uh, what's this plastic called? Uh, V1 or V2, it says oh, it on the V1. back. V1. Yeah. It seems like in my hand it's gonna be flippy, but we'll go, here we go, right up the middle. Yeah, Matt. Okay, so it's not flippy. <laughs> it's more on the So stable. it's called the Harpoon, if you know oh, Harp. So Heart. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, it's a little play on words. All right, cool, man. There Bro. we go. We got two Dos X, one in Alpha, one in Bravo. Kaiser up the gap. I'm going up the gap. Go. Oh. It's like a colored glow sure type deal. I'm not the difference between Alpha and Bravo. Let me just feel it real quick. That's oh, like, yeah. They're premium. Why do these all feel so light? Are they max weight? A lot of them are lighter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's get it up there. Come on now. So the basket, yeah, you're probably I'll in 20 it, right? feet or so. Yeah. Good bid. Oh, that, 
didn't hyzer as much as I thought it would. He found himself in a tree. So, oh, there he is in a tree. Drop in for Ben. Come on now. Don't miss. Don't miss. Oh! Oh! Oh, what do we call that on the Nick and Matt show? It's not a nomez. It's a something. Uh, we'll think of it. Drop a comment and let us know. Yeah, let us know. That's I should I should go not put the premium. Maybe maybe this would have stuck. I learned that putt camera trick from Simon. You know. Okay, hole number three is a hard, like straight to hyzer finish if you're forehanding. But I don't have a clue at all besides what i've already thrown by the way is that the name of the disc yep mad cat okay i know it finished kind of stable as hard when i threw it earlier so i'm gonna just take it for now yeah matt i actually pushed it so that's actually it's not like over stable but it's really nice out like it threw pretty straight. yeah going with the hooligan disc yeet also made by lone star which is why they're in this video yeet 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 forehand Forehand. All right, here we go. Do it. Too angry at it. Do it for the likes. If he hits this, you got a thumbs up. Exactly. If he misses, you got a double thumbs up. <laughs> nope. Okay. Still thumbs up. <laughs> now I just got to hit a putt. You know what? For the fun, I'm moving to the penny putter in different plastic. Yep. Bravo. It still feels light. Oh, oh, good vid. Off the band. Good vid. I thought that was money. And there's the dad joke for the day. I thought that was money. It's a penny putter. All right. Thanks for sticking. Let's One go. stroke down yeah, still. You can pick mine up. Thank you. I need something that's like a little straighter. To... Oh, man. We have to have fun with this. The Dillo. One of my favorite discs. All right. So I just, this is the first time I picked it up. Dillo, but it makes me think Rhino a little bit from the end of the lineup because of the, the thumb track. Yeah. But I don't know if it throws that way. I'm hoping it goes straightish with a little finish at the end. Don't hit that tree. Oh. Did it kick right? Left. If I missed okay. the tree, I think that was. Yeah. It would have been under the basket. It's nice. It sits down properly. Right, it's a little. Fl it's a little bit flippy, yep. which I'm glad I threw it that way. Think of like a, a Berg or a Sonic. Like a one speed. Yeah, that's their it's whole. It's in that genre, yeah. but yep. it's still okay. All right, I'm gonna go with the penny putter. Penny putter, here we go. That's that's. I don't know the... how this one flies. But really? Oh, well, I do, for the likes. Yes. Okay, I'm missing it all. Better go in. Oh, that is so far. In the water? It is. It's in the water. You just threw that into the water. That was mad gladdy. And really far and accurate. <laughs> Good that, hit. That may not have stuck except for that plastic pipe kept it in. So I went long in the water. Um, the thing is, this is kind of a charity round too because we don't have our <laughs> names on most of the discs. I have my name on a few. So if you find that penny putter, it's all yours. Hole four, whites, maple You're hill. You're so charitable, Ben. Hit yeah. this putt. Oh. Come on now. Come on, Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit? Good putt. Let's go. Bonus footage. This isn't as good as Simon Lazat's nature moment, but <laughs> that's your bullfrog out there. This is the famous, I think lots of people have aced it, but more recently, I think it was Calvin Heimberg over the water. Yep. Good news. We're not thrown over the water today. Our basket is straight ahead, which gives me a simple hyzer out. And because I threw the harpoon and I know what it does, I'm going to give it a go here. Yeah, is Matt. That money? That's deep. Or is that no, under that's the money. That has to be money. Okay, I think that's under the basket. I'm also going with the harpoon, but in Bravo plastic. I gotta check out these other plastics. Uh, All yeah, right, I, go I'm ahead. Surprised you didn't throw but you. Oh! Tick the oh. branch. What? Hit another one. That was crazy. Circle two. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Good backstop, right? That felt good. I thought that was it. Two for me, three for Ben, two stroke advantage me. I think you're negative one, I'm plus one. Taking a quick look. I haven't thrown this. What do we call this, BB6? BB6. Oh, it's what it's called, BB6. Oh my good. 
except that it's flippy. Oh. Well, flippy's the wrong word. Good shot. Now I know what the disc does, I would release it with a little hyzer yeah. angle and I would have just been par. I'm gonna send it, go for it with the Dosex. Dosex. I love the names. Dosex. Because I don't understand them yet. Here we go. Advantage Ben knowing how the disc flies. Oh. Was that good? Almost a good kick and then a bad kick. I ended OB. Advantage him on this hole, uh, which means he can get it to back within one or maybe tie it up here. Who knows? Here we go. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to go with the harpoon. Go OB. That needs a sit, though. I was joking about the OB, but I think you just did. All right. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, Matt. Oh, the Sorry, stump. Eight feet. Or yeah, you're so good. Yeah, good. Ching. Yeah. Second shot OB, so he's here for a four if he hits this. Hardest putt of his life. All right, good. So what does that put us now? Four, four. You're still two back. I'm still plus two. You're even. I'm even. Got it. That's easy math. Notice the wild Ben in his natural habitat. That was a spell. Almost was a blooper. Hole seven. Straight wooded trail or road warbird warbird feels like a distance driver though it definitely is all right it's a distance driver for no <laughs> good reason i'm throwing it on the most wooded hole but just for sake it's warm out for new englanders it's warm haha -ha, it's like 85 maybe but like these are i can do this with any disc but this just feels flexible it's, definitely flexible like if you like it and the, the the good part here is i actually do like that i'm a g star and of a guy so this is really falling in line with it I mean, yeah. Oh. oh, it was bad line, but I threw it like it was overstable and it was. All right, I'm gonna try and throw the Guadalupe. What does that one do? Uh, it kind of flips up, hopefully okay. ride straight. Normally I would throw a mid range here, but. I'm gonna use this information for later, Ben. Let's see what happens. Okay. Womp, womp, womp. It was at that Yanked time. Yanked it. He knew he had messed up. Oh man. I'm gonna play casual in front of it. I know it's not really legal, but. Yeah, there's a swamp. We're not making him step in. Just remember that when he wins. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's really hard to show. Oh, it kicked left. It's hard to show you some of these shots here, but. Got it out. Hopefully, I can get the four. Armadillo. Y'all. Wait, is this? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, that's the one. This is the one I Whole said was four. like Sonic esque. Yep. Yeah, Matt. Okay, so Ben is in a not very good spot, which is not uncommon for disc golfers. But I decided to move up here so we can at least see maybe where a shot comes out. Come on now. Okay, okay. All right, well, he made it to like circle's edge. Ben's gotta hit this for four, which means he'll be at plus three and I'll be even. No pressure, we have two holes left. He needs Come this. This is all one continuous shot. Oh. It's live, baby. We don't mess around. Wait, that's a lie. Wow. Should have made the first one. Should have. BB6, what a cool name. So a little flippy. So I gotta feel the wind here. There's no wind. <laughs> oh, Matt. It's crushing okay, it's, it. It's just not. Oh! <laughs> what? I just nice you. I tried you. to finesse it because I, just I didn't want it to you. flip into the water. But I said you crushed it. Wow. How'd that even happen? I don't know, man. I'm going to go with the armadillo. V2 armadillo. plastic. It floats. So oh, it floats? Hopefully. We'll be able to get mine out. We'll be able to get it. It's right on the edge. Hopefully, you won't, we won't be able to test it. If you it. ace it and I take a four here, which is likely, then you're only one back with one hole. So let's see what happens. That's a line. To do oh it didn't come back but that's, that's fine that's a bird it's a two oh it's back let's up go. under the basket let's go what i just stabbed it the <laughs> horrible <laughs> i'll 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 continue one shot to the putt <laughs> this is 
like a time pull. Benny, Kenny. Finally, something, something's going my way. Or is it? Oh, let's go. <laughs> I need some Guadalupe. It's a little wet still. Some Guadalupe uh, redemption. Maybe you should have put on some Max Wax. True. I mean, I have some. <laughs> he didn't want to throw, have it slip out and be like, I should have did it. So he's doing it now. All right, cool. Good job. There we go. Shout out DG Max Black. Go. Hopefully it's a bird foot. I hit a tree way up there, but that's okay. Ben is editing this video. So if the score shows accurately, I think he's behind by two. Plus two. No. Plus three and you're plus one. I think that's correct. So this hole, there's OB, it's tough. It could be a uh, nail biter. Let's go. Back to my third love, <laughs> BB6, baby. Let's do, do it, it in the water, was able to retrieve it. Here we go. Oh wait, this is white. Yeah. This is at the top of the hill, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, find the line. Oh, he just barely sneaks it. Ah. Oh. Tough to see. So I'm going for the win by sticking it in. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> what happened? I think that's parked and I was kind of a bit on it. I basically, I have to make this. If he puts this in, it's for the two which, and he's two behind me. I'd have to miss my like five footer. Correct. It all can happen. Come on now. Nope. Good sit. All right. Good bid. Okay. Here I am. A little elevated. I've missed this and I probably still win, but unless it rolls down in the water. All Dang. right. Matt wins. Cool. Lone Star Discs I've never thrown before. Don't know their plastics. Don't know how they fly. Didn't know the names. I'm not a pro disc golfer, but somehow I was able to take down Ben. I will say I maybe got lucky with my disc choices and I hit some of my lines. He hit lines. I hit some lines. At the end of the day, he hit lines. All right, lines. so I think I beat you by two strokes. Two strokes. Two strokes, and that's the first nine here. We're going to do a back nine a little differently. You'll have to wait for that to come out. But this was a great time. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Matt. Shout out Lone Star Disc and Hooligan Disc um, for sending the, the yeet as well. Yeet. So hopefully we'll throw some more yeets on the back nine because those are some bombers. We'll have to force some yeets. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeet. Have a good one.